Greetings, loyal subjects. My name is the Nickel King, and welcome to another tutorial video. And yes, my microphone is finally fixed. It feels so great to not have to enhance my microphone settings every time I record a video. The reason why that was the problem was I have no idea. My microphone just wasn't agreeing with me. So now that I've fixed the problem, I no longer have to enhance my microphone. My last video I did, I did not enhance it. I forgot to and it just turned out terrible. So this video, we are going to be doing another tutorial video. And just like in true Nickel King fashion, um, we're going to be dealing with sound. Um, more specifically, background noise you hear in videos. I don't know about you, but when I hear background noise in a video on YouTube, it just makes me think that it's unprofessional and that they don't know what they're doing. So, um, I try to keep as much background noise as possible, but sometimes it just doesn't work and I've been trying to figure out other ways to get rid of the background noise and finally, I have found a program that actually helps out a lot. So um, the program in question today that we're going to be using is Audacity right here. Um, Audacity um, is free. It's a free program and it helps you do a lot of things involving audio, hence the name Audacity. So we're going to show you how, I'm, well I'm going to show you how to get rid of background noise with Audacity. So, first things first, is that you're going to need a quality uh, editing device. So, when I'm being my quality is like, um, Windows Movie Maker and iMovie will not cut it in this. Um, as much as I want to say that Windows Movie Maker and iMovie will help a lot in this, unfortunately this is one of those things that they um, lack in terms of um, editing. So you're going to probably have to save up for um, Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere or if you're one of those um, skeevy pirates you can get it, find some way to get it. I'm not promoting pirating at all but um, that is up to you I guess. Um, it is good to pay for the stuff but if you're going to pirate I can't stop you so eh. What are you going to do? So, you go to Sony Vegas. At least that's what I prefer to use. And then you're going to open a new... Alright, whatever. You're going to open a new... You're going to open your recording. There it is right there. Yes. Full screen. Go over here. Now, I'm going to zoom in. Now, I'm going to actually highlight some of this. There we go. Oh, wait. First rule of Sony Vegas. If this would go away. First rule of Sony Vegas. Always disable resample. I do not, cannot tell you how many times I forget to do that. And it ends up um, screwing up my entire um, video because of it. So... Note to yourselves, I guess you could call this part of the um, other tutorial I did. Disable resample needs to be turned off and all you have to do to turn it off is just go to properties. We'll right click the video, hit properties, and there it is right there. So that's all you need to do. Alright, so I'm going to highlight some of this. There we go. Alt 4. Boom. Can you hear that? That is the background noise. So what we're going to do is going to select the video again and press U. Now what that did was separate the audio and the video from each other. Now we're going to delete the video. And then we're going to capture this. All you have to do is go to your render settings and go to um, wave settings and set it as uh, a, WA, a, a WAV file for wave. 
The reason why you want it as a WAV file is, um, Audacity mainly uses WAV files. It does use other files, but WAV is its strong point. So you're going to want to always use WAV um, for Audacity and um, however you want to put it in, um, well, however you want to name it or select the audio settings, that's up to you. But I like using just the default, it's good enough. Now I'm not going to render this um, mainly because I've already done it and I don't need to do it again. So it's untitled.wav. We're gonna leave all. Uh, we're gonna leave Sony Vegas. We're gonna go to Audacity now. Okay. Now I'm gonna open a file, and I'm gonna do untitled, and there it is. .wav. I'm gonna open it. Okay. And there it is, right there. Now, as you can see, there's that background noise. Right there. So what you're going to want to do... Oops. Is you're going to want to highlight that background noise. And then you're going to want to go to your effects. Noise reduction. Get noise profile. Oops. Sometimes you have to experiment with this. Yeah. Always seems to happen. There we go. Now as you can see, I just highlighted the entire audio track. Now what you're going to want to do is do noise reduction again. And then you're just going to want to hit OK. Now that will, as you can see, it kind of reduced the amount of sound that is in that. Now what you're going to want to do, if there is still background noise, just keep doing it. And it will eventually go away for good. Now, let's play it again, see what happens. Hello. There you go. Now that is how, um, let me see if I can get rid of this real quick. Let's see if I can get rid of that little annoyance. There it is. It's gone. So... Hello? And there you go. That is how you get rid of... Hello? The audio. Uh, let me check this real quick. Alright, now that is something we don't need to hear. So we're gonna highlight it. And just keep doing the same thing over and over again. It takes no time whatsoever to do. You do not have to select areas that doesn't have the sound in it. Effects, noise reduction, allow. Hello. And there you go. Um, it's fairly simple to use. Um, and that got rid of pretty much all the background. Um, if my mic wasn't so bad, there probably wouldn't have been some additional sound included in that. But that's just my microphone. You can't fix that. So you are going to have to have a good microphone, but not. it doesn't have to be too great. Um, people will understand, but as long as you're able to get rid of that background noise like I just showed you, people will start liking your videos more. Now, we are going to save this file. I already saved it, so I don't need to save it again. Um, but to save it, you would go to Export Audio. And when you export the audio, it's got to go into anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter where it has to go, it, as long as it's a WAV file. 
and name it whatever you want so that you can find it and know where it's at so that you can find it in case you don't remember what you called it or if you're just going to be creative like me and call it untitled then that's how you would do it so once you've saved it i'm not going to save it because i've already done this a bunch of times stupid sony vegas what you're going to want to do is re-enter the original video, yes, do the same thing with you, alright, come on, Now you're going to want to insert the file that you just, the audio file that you just created. That's the one that I just created, so there it is. Now I'm going to take it all the way back. It's just as long. This is why I recommend you do not edit your videos before you do this. Because if you did not edit your videos at all, it will be the same length as the original video so that is how you do that sorry for the pause there i thought i heard something um so let's play it hello Sorry about that quick cut right there. I kept hearing noises and I just wanted to make sure it was all all right. Now what you're going to want to do that we know that all of it is cleared up. We are going to split where there's no noise. This is where you can start editing. Now there is some downside to this. I am sorry once again, I keep hearing noises and I just don't want to be talking over them. So like I was saying, the main problem with this is that don't want any fade. The only problem with this is that again, they're split. You can't really join them back together. They've been split. So, the only way to get rid of them, only, there's no way to join them, so basically you have to do it the old fashioned way and just split the video and then sp split the video and then split the audio. At the same point, you split the video and that's how you have done it. So that is how you get rid of noise, um, I mean background noise with um, Audacity. Um, very simple program to use, um, yes, uh, no, 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 no. Um, Audacity is a free program just like I said, I, was I hope I remember to put it in the description below, if I don't then um, pretty simple search, just type Audacity. AudacityTeam.org is the website. That's the website. Now, right here is for Windows 8, 7, Vista, and XP. If you have Windows 10, this is it right here. The installer. And that is it. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video and if it helped you a lot, please um, uh, like and comment down below, um, and subscribe for more videos, um, and comment down below if you're having more trouble with certain things that I use, just comment down below, don't be ashamed, I am here to help you just as much as you help me. So, um, thank you all so much for watching, and please do tell me what I need to improve on next, it makes for great videos, um, me finding out what I need to improve on helps a lot. And thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome. Bye-bye.